the yo-yos on uh, CNBC or whatever, people that read the headlines, macro tourists are going to say, oh, retail sales beat. No, it didn't. It slowed. Right? So you go to rate of change deceleration in absolute terms, real, real retail sales versus the November cycle peak. Uh, again, quad two peaked in November. Don't forget the monthly quad did. Now we're slowing. We're going to slow a lot faster by the time you hit the head wall. Retail sales number actually doesn't even matter, relatively speaking, to what's going to happen here in March, April, and May, where retail sales are going to slow like precipitously on a year-over-year basis. So I think the bond market's going to go from every Tom, Dick, and Harry talking about inflation to talking about real growth slowing. Okay. Now, the higher inflation stays for longer, the lower the real growth numbers go. Okay, you get the math, right? You take nominal growth and you subtract inflation. And if nominal unit growth is slowing, which it's going to with 100% probability or close to it, you know what to do. I mean, I translated that, of course, this morning uh, to roadblocks or any growth stock where they're guiding down on rate of change revenue growth. Hey there, Hedgeye Nation. Or if you're not part of Hedgeye Nation, thanks for watching Hedgeye on YouTube. If you haven't already, make sure to click on the button below there. Subscribe to our YouTube page. You can also follow the link in the description to our website to get even more great investing content.